Ooh. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh. Well, the good news is, is this is right where they're going to put the bow thruster. No. No, but that's not good. That's not good. All right, so here's the deal. Today's the day we are going on to the hard to get our bow thrusters installed. The lift is getting into the position. Once he blows his horns, at his horn it lets us know that he's ready for us. We'll uh, untie, cruise on over there, slide into the sling, nice and easy, and then out we go. Good news is, is it seems to be really, the water's super calm right now, so no water moving in or out and um, current wise and uh, very, very light wind. So should be a nice, easy, smooth trip. Always a little nervous though. I mean, this is the first time I've driven into a sling. So it's uh, anytime you do anything for the first time, it's a little nerve wracking, but, but we'll get it. Operator, yeah, he came over to the boat and we walked the boat and looked at where the sling marks were gonna be and all that kind of stuff. So interesting where the marina sits, the, the shop, the yard that we're going into is actually up on a hill. So the boat's gonna go into the sling and then the, the lift is gonna take it up to that yard. So it's not, the yard's not like right there. It's, you gotta travel a little bit of a distance, maybe a quarter of a mile to get up to where the, the yard is at. So that'll be <laughs> fun and nervous to see all at the same time. I mean, our future is in that sling. It will be. <laughs> So that's what makes it, that's what makes it nervous. All right, they're ready for us. That's a that's a bit like that's a bit of a gap bridge. for for us to try and uh, step over and a long way down. Okay? Yeah. Not yeah. And, and trying to do it with the dog that would be tough. We can get down. All right, so I'm gonna shut her off so we can get down safely. All right, 
right, so we gotta get that fixed. We'll place some of that there. Ah, uh, there's the barnacles. The barnacles all over the shaft. And the prop. Get those scraped off. More, more boat work, boat projects. We'll wait for those to dry off and supposedly pretty easy to knock off once that's the case. There's our zinc, gotta get that replaced. Put a new zinc on. That yeah, looks pretty good, but we'll have to get a light up in there. Same with the drain tubes. Get a light in there, make sure that those are good and clean. All right, giving her a nice bath underneath good pressure washing and then uh, later today we'll actually get some soap and a good brush onto the uh, the mustache on the front get some of those water stains off yeah hopefully the those chips there in the front on the the, the paint um, the bath thruster installed kind of right in that same area so I'm gonna talk to uh talk to our guy and see if we can just kind of fix that it's the same materials so see if we can fix that at the same time looks good though looks good i'm uh i'm happy with the way it looks generally underneath after you know a couple of months so last time i saw it out of the water was in uh early march so this is march Let's see we're in early july so yeah, only four months, but yeah, looks good. Crazy boat pulled out of the water. We're on the hard, uh, getting ready to get the bow thrusters installed. But yeah, pretty crazy uh, seeing seeing the boat out of the water like that. What do you think, Cher? Yeah, it looks looks big out of the water, doesn't it? It does. It does. It looks yeah. It does. It looks a lot lot bigger for some reason. I don't know, but yeah. and a little dirty. <laughs> we'll fix that. We'll fix that. That's our. We got some work ahead of us the next two days here, for us to you know do that cleaning of the hole and the water line and you know, get all those marks and stuff off. So we'll, we'll get that taken care of. Maybe get Caitlin to help a little bit. Get a brush in your hand. Scrub, scrub, scrub. She's like, as long as it's not my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, still loving it.
day two. Day two. Looking good. All right, end of the day today. We'll have everything uh, fiberglassed and epoxied in and painted and looking new. Gonna be a new day for that pit in my stomach that every time I go to dock. <laughs> Day two includes a little bit of wash. How's it going, Cher? It's hot. It's hot. It is very hot today. I think heat index is near 100. No, the water pressure is a little off and on. And water coming from a well, so. <laughs> it's coming from three different hoses, that's right. Looking good though. Getting all the water stains off the bottom there. Nice job. And there we go, barnacles busted. Thanks to Sherry, she did a nice job. Knocking all those off. I know you can kind of still see the spots. That's very minor residue. You rub your hands over that, it's, it's smooth. It looks good. So while you have the boat out of the water, you want to try and take advantage of that and uh, do all the things that you can do on the hard that you can't do when the boat's in the water, or at least it's much more expensive because you have to hire a diver or whatever the case may be. So one of the things we did while we had the opportunity was go ahead and replace the zincs. Um, you can see I got two here on the uh, starboard shaft. There's one on the port shaft and then there's a um, like a square zinc plate zinc on the, uh, the stern of the boat but yeah that's just a matter of taking those off using an emery cloth to get down to the, the bare metal so that you're not uh, putting these on to paint it's important that you get that good solid metal to metal contact so that the zincs can do what they do which is take the uh, any of the I guess it's out of stray electricity I had to read up on <laughs> exactly how uh, what they do but it, 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 it goes after the weakest metal and so by the zincs the zinc actually material being weaker than the, the material the bronze on the prod the steel shafts um, it'll eat away at the zinc instead of eating away at uh, those those metal materials which could cause a lot of damage here's a there's one of the zincs that we took off of here and uh, you can see it's it's chewed up pretty good so it was, um, you know, hopefully we wanted to take the boat out of the water for quite a while. Wanted to go ahead and replace them while we now, now while we could. So, and it's a good thing to see them chewed up. So it's not, not like it's a bad thing. It's a good thing. You want to make sure that that's, uh, that that, that's happening. Anyway, another project, uh, another minor project down. You can see here's a shot of the, uh, the aft sink. So it's a square one, just two bolts. Pulls right off of there and then uh, use the memory cloth again and wire brush make sure we had good metal to metal on if the corrosion was off of all the corrosion was off of there and uh, put the new one on so now we're ready to go there next thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna just take an emery cloth to the props get the props as, as clean as I possibly can you know, as fast as those turn you know any kind of um, build up material on those at all you know is going to impact performance and um, fuel mileage so we want to maximize that for sure these days <laughs> all right look at her isn't she pretty now the boat yeah look at that <laughs> you're not talking about me you're talking about the boat <laughs> i'm talking about you <laughs> oh man no but seriously look at the boat bow thrusters installed and uh the um we took the time to wash and wax the rest of the boat as this guy backs up into us with his, uh, we're in the boat yard with his four wheeler. But we got the boat uh, washed and waxed and, and looking pretty and there's a part of me just wants to keep it that way forever. <laughs> I know it's short lived, trying to enjoy the moment while it's nice and clean. As soon as it goes in the water, it won't be quite that clean again. But uh, 
but yeah she looks great underneath all the barnacles off got the wax the the props that looks great the zinc's on we're ready to go so i can't wait to get it in the water hopefully it goes in the water here in the next hour but the uh the lift is broken uh, so a bit of frustration as we you know worked our tails off to kind of work quickly to excitement at the end of the day but with the lift broken i'm not sure you know what else we can do so i'm getting ready to head down to the dock and where they're actively working on it and see if they're going to be pulling some overtime to uh get me in the water so um we have other appointments and stuff tomorrow so i'm not sure if you know tomorrow morning's not going to work for us so i'm hoping we can get it in this afternoon we'll see but yeah basking in the glow and the shine of the boat she's so pretty <laughs> and you are too <laughs> See ya. <laughs>